Hi, this is Colin from Mailshake, and in this video we're going to walk through setting up a Zap on Zapier to react when something happens in Mailshake. So let's create a Mailshake campaign to test this out with. Okay, let's set up a quick campaign. Um, hello, we're testing out Zapier. Please click on this link and it should log in Google Sheets. Okay, let's make a link to just Google. We're gonna skip the personalization step and send this thing out. So that'll go out in just a few minutes. While we're doing that, let's create a Google Sheets. So we're going to go to Google Drive and create a Google Sheets document where we can log these clicks. So we'll call this Mailshake Clicks. Let's track their e the email address that of the recipient, the link that they clicked, and the date that they clicked it. Now we're all ready to create our Zap. So let's go over to Zapier and click on Make a New Zap. And the app we're going to choose as the trigger app is going to be Mailshake. And we're going to say when somebody clicks on a link, we want to do something. So I've already connected my Mailshake account. And I'm gonna, we're going to connect this to the campaign we just set up. We got a few options we could we could tweak if we wanted to. And here's the step that they're going that Zapier is asking us to test. So with Mailshake sending calendar, you may need to wait a few minutes for that recipient to receive the email. You're going to want to click on the link in that email so that we have something to test in this step. So in other words, don't move forward in this step until you've already clicked on a link. Here's the email that was sent, so we're going to click on this link. And then we can close that and go back to Zapier and test this step. Okay, it worked out. And you can click on view your click to see exactly what kind of data that you're going to get. So we'll continue to go to the next step and now we're going to hook up Google Sheets. So what are we going to do when someone clicks a link? We're going to create a row in our spreadsheet. I've already hooked up my Google account. So now I just need to choose the spreadsheet I want this to go into. Mailshake clicks. And there's only one sheet in this document. Let's use that one. So these are the columns in our spreadsheet. We're going to say the email address is going to be the recipient's email address. The link they clicked is going to be link. And the date is going to be click date. Hit continue. And it's going to give us a test here, so let's go ahead and test it. It says it's successful, so let's look at our spreadsheet. And there it is. So then we just hit finish and we name it Trilog Mailshake Clicks, and then turn it on. So that's it. And one thing I didn't mention on the step before is we were tracking clicks on a specific campaign, but you can also do this across all of your campaigns. On the Mailshake trigger, you can just leave this, this row blank and it will track clicks for all your campaigns. You can do lots of other things. You can react when replies come in. You can react when new messages are sent, etc. And most of those steps have really cool filters. So you can say, I only want to react when certain links are clicked or when bounce replies are received. So there's lots of different ways you can do it. Thanks very much for watching.